Key business travel threats and risks, the normalization of deviance. You hear it all the time. We have a policy. We have management and quality control functions to prevent that. Shortly after, you hear words and acceptance statements that are really just modifiers. Open bookings in travel language is a laissez-faire or do-as-you-please approach to booking travel. Duty of care provider is a term used by those that have no risk management qualifications or understanding of corporate governance. A lack of bad outcomes can reinforce this misplaced trust and confidence in poor practices. These groupthink approaches and undermining of actual safety and risk management standards is where deviance, that is a small divergence from their original path, becomes accepted and becomes the norm. Professor Diane Vaughan, from Columbia University's Department of Sociology, defines the normalization of deviance as the following. Social normalization of deviance means that people within the organization become so much accustomed to a deviant behavior that they don't consider it as deviant, despite the fact that they far exceed their own rules for the elementary safety. People grow more accustomed to the deviant behavior the more it occurs. To people outside of the organization, the activities seem deviant, however, people within the organization do not recognize the deviance because it is seen as a normal occurrence. In hindsight, people within the organization realize that the seemingly normal behavior was deviant. Professor Vaughan should know, she investigated the Space Shuttle Challenger accident that exploded shortly after takeoff. Dr. Alan Waring also notes that, the riskiest aspects of an organization may lie not in the physical but in the self-reinforcing behavior associated with power relations and culture in the organization, as part of his complete works contained within managing risk, critical issues for survival and success into the 21st century. Travel managers are not risk managers. Travel management providers are not risk managers. Accepted and tolerated behavior means you now accept what was once a warning of dangerous deviation by risk managers as a standard practice. That doesn't make it acceptable. It often makes it highly dangerous as a result. After two shuttle disasters at NASA key recommendations were, don't use past success to redefine acceptable performance. Require systems to be proven safe to operate to an acceptable risk level rather than the opposite. Appoint people with opposing views or ask everyone to voice their opinion before the discussion. Keep safety programs independent from those activities they evaluate. These are also similar traits of high reliability organizations. Our expert safety, security and risk management professionals at Intelligent Travel agree. Contact us to find out more about the science of travel risk management. www.intelligenttravel.com.au Think for yourself, don't follow the crowd into even more danger.